you obviously could have gone out of state to a number of schools. Uh, did, when you were growing up, did, did University of Tennessee resonate with you? Were you ever a fan? Did you follow UT football? Yeah, I did. Uh, I was a fan. My whole entire family has been a fan. But whenever I was little, I didn't really watch football. It was kind of just something that I did. My, my dad got me into it really, really young. But I didn't like – I didn't have a favorite team up until, like, senior year of high school. And then that's whenever I kind of made my choice as to come here. You had over 150 career pancakes in uh, in high school. What's that feeling like when you're able to execute that? Um, just pure happiness to be able to physically dominate somebody. Uh, it, it, there's no other feeling than just putting somebody on their back and being like, yeah, you, you have no power over me. I mean, there's no other feeling like it. Aiden, would Coming in in the summer, getting starting camp today, what are, what are your sort of expectations for the next few weeks? What, what do you think it's going to be like to be, be on an SEC offensive line and have to block SEC defense alignment? My expectation is just to soak up everything that I can. Um, I want to be able to learn as much as I can from the older guys, and that's what I've been doing for the past two months while I've been here. Um, as far as it goes with depth and everything like that, trying to get on the field, that's not really my goal. It's more or less to be able to learn the offense and make sure that I know what I'm doing before um, I worry about ever getting on the field. Who are some of these older guys you've leaned on to help with that process? Um, Ollie Lane and Spr uh, Spraggs and Cooper. A lot, of, all of the older, like older, older guys, like the senior seniors and uh, six-year seniors. They all have so much knowledge, and it's just so easy to be able to like soak it up with them. What's been sort of your focus in the in the weight room and getting yourself ready physically, and you know where where are you? Have you added or dropped weight since you got here? Um, I definitely say that as far as it goes in the weight room, I was trying to more or less increase my agility. Um, I came in around 308, and I felt really good. I was really strong, but I was having a little trouble moving. And then I dropped. I had a huge uh, drop in weight. I went it from 308 to 200, 290, and now I'm back up to 300 pounds. But my weight fluctuates a lot between 295 and 300. Vince? Two quick things I'll ask them separately. Are, are you on one side of the ball or the other, or are they kind of keeping you in one spot so far? They've mainly put me at left guard. Um, I can alternate between left and right guard, but mainly they want me at left guard. And what are your impressions, I guess, through recruiting and then now with Coach Ellerby? Um, I, I honestly haven't like noticed the difference. He was very real with me through my uh, recruiting. And that was one reason why I really liked it here is because there was n never any showmanship, never anything fake with him. Um, he told me how it is and how it was going to be, so I knew exactly what I was getting into whenever I was coming here. Patrick. You said you were talking about the weight drop from 308 to 2. Was that, did that happen in the summer? Or were you, yeah. Uh, was that surprising that you kind of had such a big swing? and? Uh, is that something that you thought they might do with you coming in and sort of reshaping you to where you could be heavier but still move better? Um, it was a surprise. Um, it happened. I'd lost about 18 pounds in two weeks, and it was it was really surprising to me because I've never, I mean, for the past year I have not dropped many 300 pounds, and now it's a struggle to just stay over or get to 300 pounds. Um, I expected to, for them to cut off a little bit of weight for me, but not not such a drastic amount in such a short amount of time.